Max Verstappen has qualified on pole for the Bahrain Grand Prix on the Saturday edition tomorrow, of course. But as for this edition, troops, what is going on and what is going through everybody's head is qualifying is over. And Alpine are absolutely dead. They are. They are absolutely washed. Alpine, who had so, did so much potential for them in recent years, but the, the, they've, they've, the arses went, all right? They won a race. 2022 wasn't too bad, but really unreliable. Last year, two podiums, something to build on, and now they're the slowest car. They're out, along with Kick Cyber and Logan Sargent. I mean, that was Q1. I mean, it was close throughout, but you could see that Ferrari and Red Bull definitely, you know, flicked that switch or something in there. Absolutely. Um, and I think what will be kicking Ferrari is the lap that Leclerc did in Q2 would have been enough for pole position. So you've got to say, man, the time was there. The time was on the table. Um, I think this isn't a true representative of the actual pace, I don't think. I think Max got a bit of a slipstream. He actually got a bit of a slipstream in Q2 as well. So, yeah, I'm not saying the guy's lucky <laughs> or anything like that. But end of the day... I don't think it was as bad as what people thought, but what might be as bad as what people think is the fact that tomorrow the race pace of the Red Bull will be good. I mean, it's pretty much like last season. Max takes pole, then you've got Ferrari, Mercedes, Aston Martin, McLaren all behind him with Perez somewhere in it because he's pish. And that, that's pretty much it. Like, um, I mean, I, I would love to sit here and talk about this, but it was just a bit bland of a return, wasn't it? You know, you had all that oh, expectation here. See if Leclerc got pulled, maybe you'd have a better feeling here. I'm nothing against Max. You know, great, great, probably the greatest driver there will be by the time he calls up the gloves. But, you know, you don't want to see the same people dominating, but he did. Shout out to Nico Hulkenberg. Great lap for him. Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. Until next time, peace.